crazy thing is, so they know about Zero Dawn, but what they don't know... Wait, we've got another thing back here. They don't know what it does. Like, they're just fighting to fight, and they believe in this, I guess, system, but... Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded, and enjoy your gaming. Enjoy your game. Furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. Guess they were used to it. It's one way to look at it. I guess we probably want to be heading down there. Text log this one. Looking bad, I thought 64 was shaping up to be a pretty good year. No more drinking and no more mercenary sec work. Stripping offshore wind farms for the OEZ, just me and a plasma cutter, 400 feet above sea level. Then I got the recall alert, read them up on a turbine. In the smell of cooking ozone. They covered every angle, better pay, and amnesty for any combine wars you'd fought in, guaranteed citizenship. We should have thought, okay, what's the catch? But what we did think was, I guess we're better than the bots after all. Big talk from Harris about pride and duty. Smart guy. He was right. I'd been proud to be a U.S. soldier. I jumped at the chance to be one again. And look what I landed in. Military pride. Last night we got talking about D-Day 55. I was a kid then, only a few years out of boot camp. Generally, General Assembly in a drone hangar. Summer and the sky was bare, the heat was killer. They say US c human combat forces are being disbanded. All automated now. We're last cycle's tech. Out like the old net. <laughs> a million more on basic in a century recession. Could be you'll help build the robots that took your jobs. Or if you know how to handle a power suit, you could find a place that still uses manual labor. Maybe the OEZ or China, where you're not our problem. Lowest suicide risk instead of my discharge file. Reminiscing about like these old wars that she's been around. This one's a little different, I would think. Or maybe it's not so different. light. Guess that means no power. For now. Whoa! A holographic interface. It must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. The bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? <laughs> As usual, I defy expectations. Oh, that's informative. Data shows required settings for nearby hololocks. Consult GT Tech. So... It must be the th that thing that we just saw. North in summer, east in spring, west in fall. So, up, right, left, down maybe? Three power lines, three sources. That makes one. Okay. Nearby settings, okay. Up, up, down, down. 
It's just missing the red thing, but I would assume. Press two. One more. Is this a jump across I think I can make? Yep. Up, down, left, right. Probably the safest way of getting here. Tools being used and voices. More clips. Must be another way in. Good. Oh! Out. If I find more, I should be able to get to that ancient armor I found. Nice. I should take a note to see if it looked significantly different. I think it would stand out. Starting to wonder if I've missed any previously. It's a pretty good chance. There's so much stuff. It's them, all right. They're not looking for answers, just weapons. Careful. Uh, this could be a problem. That's a good start. Where's this guy going? If I go on this guy, his buddy behind him sees me, but... I didn't even see him. Are you kidding? Stay out of sight. Up, 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 up. Shit. Ah. 
Shadow demands This is not good. Small bump in the road, I suppose. Should have brought a cart. We'll take this back. Is that something I can make? Absolutely. Why do I even doubt it? What is this area? This is like a loadout zone? I believe in you. Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andreas and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever gonna be the same. But I believe in you. I believe in us. It's like the war maybe has been going on for so long where everyone's kind of used to it. Like the, they go out and wave at the VTOLs and stuff. Like Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. Oh boy. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Oh. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames? That wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. I wonder it's how many people they're doing Ames. that to. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit morale continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Pharaoh Plague, Especially they're calling it? when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And which and facilities again, are those? I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. 
Of which you probably didn't get. I know it's been days, honey. Yeah, just didn't approve. Deployments uh, getting real long. We have to put into work for everyone, like a family business. I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. Those are the piece together messages that they're sending on his behalf. This one too. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. <laughs> We've heard that before. It is recycled. The wife was right to suspect something. Use the console. Yeah, that seems safe. A text log for deployment records. Operation Kickback, Reno, Nevada. Civilian Guard and Honor Armor Battalions skirmished with Vanguard elements of Pacific Northwest Swarm PN-12. Engagement began at 0600 and concluded with a withdrawal at 2100 the following day. Losses in excess of 40% reported. There's another operation called Operation Thick Skull uh, in Virginia. 12th MRB, supported by civilian guard, fought a rear guard action against the Eastern Seaboard Swarm ES-17. Engagement began at 0800 at approximately 1400. 12th MRB reported the position was overrun and received authorization to detonate SA Tech Facility, inflicting significant damage on ES-17. Surviving elements of the 12th MRB withdrawn to Akron, Cleveland Defense Line. Operation Body Blow. Um, 9th and 10th MRB, supported by sustained aerial strikes, assaulted the Horus class Titan, resupplying the Eastern Seaboard Swarm ES-18. Engagement began at 0400 and concluded at 2200 with the elimination of the Titan. Note that this is the 9th, this is 9th MRB's third Titan kill with minimal losses. 9th MRB. 3rd MRB, refused recall orders from Operation Pinch Hit, deployment along, uh, Pensacola, Tallahassee defensive line, court martial proceedings underway. 7th MRB, recalled from New York Engagement Zone to reinforce Wichita Theater ready. 9th MRB is refitting at USRC, USRC facilities ready. And 10th MRB transferred to Kalmar. 9th MRB apparently um, pretty good at their jobs. Some of these data points that we've seen, I believe they're 9th MRB folks. What is this? That? It's a map. Buckle a map up. of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. <laughs> so our world is a Fair globe. Enough. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow. Those are the swarms Elizabeth that they're talking about. Probably the locations. But how? It's got to be cool to like to be able to envision it. You've maybe had theories previously that. You know, the Earth can't be flat because we see these, uh, like the shadow on the moon is curved, so it doesn't make sense if we're flat. That's pretty smart. But then to have it, like, fully realized in front of you? That's a bit different. This is a good sign. Wow. Like, we are literally a speck of dust compared to this thing. Please don't tell me that that's coming back. 
The eclipse. Something's going on there. Tampering with a metal devil. Well, they don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! Oh yeah, we've seen this before. Okay, yeah, the other one was stationary. We took it out pretty well, but this could be a bit of a different tale. Do we want him to just be like staying up here? There's a rappel point over there. See what we're working with here. The fact that this one's mobile is going to be a significant challenge. Oh, there is another guy out there. Look at. Shit. Oh boy. He sees me. Or does he? Shit, maybe he didn't. Swarm launcher, flamethrowers, gun turrets. Just your everyday Deathbringer machine. I'm just looking for, like, what options we have. Shit. Whoa, we're live. Oh, those aren't gonna last. Holy shit. Is that doing anything? I mean, we should be able to knock it off at some point. Oh my god. String them up, string them up. Still. Okay, I think we need to be focusing other things. Oh, shit. Okay, 
Maybe that top one is disabled. Now we want to overheat this thing. Two, three. He's overheating. Oh, shit. things we need to take out. grabbing some of this medicine that's around here. It's massive damage. Uh-oh. There's plants around here I saw. See, he's naturally overheating, so we only need to plunk him a couple of times. Oh boy. We've come so far. We don't really need the Deathbringer. Got him. I did it. <sighs> so the soldiers long ago. They had to fight a hundred of those all at once. Yeah, seriously. Imagine it. Ridiculous. Some type of room back there. Seems 
supply crates on that side. A couple of um, modifications that we could drop. That was wild. I mean, he... So, obviously capable of, of taking us down, but... Um, pretty easy to dodge as well. So... Not necessarily the end of the world. But if you had that and a bunch of other enemies, yeah, that's... It's very different. Door number three. 